Planographs again. This time we're looking at Euler's formula. Now again, I just said Euler. Please don't say Euler. It's really rude. All right, this bloke, his name was Leonard Euler, and he invented this formula, Euler's formula. That's why it's called Euler's formula, and it is super famous. It's right up there with like the quadratic formula and Pythagoras' theorem. So what he said was, I've got this planar graph like this. I'm going to count a few things. First up, the vertices. One, two, three, four, five, six vertices. I'm going to count the edges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'm going to count something that Euler called the faces. Uh, now, what did he mean by faces? Well, he looked at all of the like bits that were, I guess, the paddocks, if you were a farmer. Um, so this is a face, we'll call that face 1. This bit here is a face, we'll call that face 2. Uh, this bit here, I'm thinking you can guess, is a face, we'll call that face 3. And you might think there's three faces here, but actually we need to count the fourth face, which is the face all around the planar graph. And we'll call that face 4. Okay, and then we have F equals 4. So with these three numbers, we get this really, really, really nice formula. So what Euler said was this. For any connected planar graph, V plus F minus E equals 2. Okay, so a couple of important words here for any connected, so that means that all of the vertices are connected to the other vertices in some way. You can't have just one isolated vertice out here, this won't work. Planar graph, none of the edges cross over. We've already talked about what a planar graph is. V plus F minus E equals two. Let's see if that's true with this particular graph. I really hope so, because otherwise Euler is gonna be very upset. All right, V was six. Faces is 4, minus E is 8, equals 2. 6 plus 4, minus 8, 2, equals 2. Good. Euler's uh, formula still holds. So we'll call that example 1. We've done it now. We know what the formula is. Let's do a second one, make sure that we understand this. Um, let's verify that this works. We're just going to find out. We're going to try plug this one into the formula. Now, for any connected planar graph, is this connected? Yep, uh, it looks like all of the vertices are connected to some other vertice in some way. Is it a planar graph? Well, I don't know, because there is an edge crossing over here. So at the moment, it's not drawn in planar form, but maybe it can be drawn in planar form. I'll just put some letters here, because otherwise I'll get confused. A, B, C, D, E. That'll do. Um, now, I'm just going to temporarily remove this one. That's connecting C to D. And I'm just going to draw it around the outside. Good. Okay, now it's a planar graph. It's still an equivalent, an isomorphic graph, same as the last one, but I've just gotten rid of that line through the middle and drawn it in a different spot. Now, let's do our uh, V, F, and E. V, F, and E. Vertices, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, the E, let's do the edges, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and the faces. Now, you need to be really careful with your, your faces here. So, there's one face, call that F1. Second face here, we'll call that F2, that's that bit there. A third face here, call that F3, and then a face around the outside of it, and we'll call that F4. So there are four faces. Now, our formula says that V5 plus faces 4 minus edges 7 equals 2. 5 plus 4 minus 7. Great, Euler is still correct. All right, so I've got a little space in here to talk. Uh, I'm just going to do this question here. 
A connected planar graph, which means that it follows Euler's rule, has six vertices and nine edges. How many faces does it have? Now, if you didn't know Euler's formula, you'd be in a bit of trouble here. You'd have to draw um, six um, vertices, you'd have to draw nine edges connecting them, and then you'd have to try to count the faces. But we don't have to do that here. We can just say, well, Euler's formula for a connected planar graph is V plus F minus E equals 2. Six vertices plus some unknown amount of faces minus nine edges is equal to 2. Okay, I can group the 6 and the 9. So 6 minus 9 is minus 3. So now I have F minus 3 equals 2. And I can add 3 to both sides. And that will give me F equals 5. Therefore, a connected plane graph with 6 vertices and 9 edges. How many faces does it have? 5. Always 5. There could be no other option. Uh, I wonder what a possible planar graph might look like. So that's a possible one there. You can see it's got six vertices. It's got nine edges if you count them. And now how many faces does it have? It has one square face, a triangle face, another triangle face, that's three, a semicircle face, that's four, and the outside face, that's five. Euler strikes again. All right, that, uh, that is planar graphs, Euler's formula. Always works. I could have drawn a different planar graph there. I could have connected those dots up in different ways. Wouldn't have mattered. Same answer.